Hello and welcome back everyone. Now let's go and open your SGDoc folder and in SGDoc folder go to your functions and open this function file and just add another function here. Uh, write function. Create another function by writing function and my function name is get pro. So it will get all of the products from database and show them onto your screen and I'm writing the global variable here which is my connection variable I'm saying if is not acid this exclamation sign is actually saying not acid so underscore get get sorry if not equal to acid another I'm putting the another condition here I'm writing another condition here underscore get brands um, then just create a variable here get underscore product now I'm creating a variable and in this variable I'm storing the query this query will get data from database and bring on the main page randomly uh, I'm creating a query with a random function so it will get the products from your database and show them onto your screen with a random function uh, which will fetch products randomly uh, from 0 to 6 save your query in this variable select all from product order by ran ran is a function which will automatically pick random product uh, and random values from your database I'm creating another variable in which I am going to say that products and the built-in function mysqli underscore query run my query run my connection first and then my variable which we have stored the query and after this variable just write a while loop and in this while loop just create a variable in which we store our values mysql i underscore fetch underscore array run underscore products which is my variable store the query and my connection underscore products and after this just add pro underscore id product id dollar raw underscore product now add a product which pro product column the database product column here product id and copy this from here and paste it here and change this next to title raw underscore product and this is a title and category here brand here and product uh, what we have next uh, we have a product description and product price and image now change this to product brand product description product image here now let's come and say echo this uh, create a div here and let's give ID to this div 
is equals to single underscore product and this is basically the ID single underscore product which we have given our CSS file here single underscore product or we didn't give the style to single underscore product in but we have to make uh, we have to give the style to single underscore product after this just first of all add heading here which is pro underscore title this is our uh, variable close this heading from here and add a p tag here which is a paragraph tag and in bold just say price here pkr or just say dollar just say uh, dollar sign here and let's say product underscore price which is here our variable it will uh, just fetch the price here uh, which is given by the user and store in our this variable and show with the help of echo here pri uh, product price pro price now close the b tag and close our paragraph tag here now add an image here the product image here admin underscore area in our admin area uh, just single quotation here admin area product underscore images slash dollar pro underscore image and close this from here and give width is equals to 180 and give height is equals to 180 and close this tag here and create another uh, sorry uh, or just uh, give a line break here close this div here div and after this just terminate this statement here now similarly just uh, add another function and just copy your get pro here and paste it here change this to get cat pro global data if asset underscore get cat and um, just remove this from here get cat from here and remove this also remove this brushes from here just remove this from here and after this create another variable here product underscore cat is equal to dollar underscore get get and basically we fetch the desired ID and save it into local variable called cat underscore ID now go to the next line and write get underscore cat underscore pro I'm taking another variable here and in this variable I'm creating a query here select all from products where products product underscore cat is equals to uh, is equals to my local variable name product underscore cat and in the next line just come here and write another variable which is run underscore cat underscore pro is equals to my SQLI 
underscore qd uh, just close this double quotation here My, now come to this mysql underscore qd open up your database connection comma your qd get underscore cat underscore pro this qd will get the data from the database and bring on main page uh, okay now let's come here and add another function here uh, another variable take another variable here count is equals to my sqli underscore number underscore rows now dollar run underscore cat underscore pro now close this now create a condition here now count is if equal is equals to zero then then say that in a heading no product found in this category if it will find the zero in our category so it will show that uh, no product found in this category now after this just go to the while here raw underscore product just change this to raw underscore cat underscore pro mysql i fetch run underscore just change this it to cat underscore pro now product id raw underscore product change this to raw underscore cat underscore product and just copy this to this and product title is here now we have the product description here just take a product description here and take a product price here and just change it to price and take the last one is to product image now change it to product image one and now come here and echo it to the screen with div id single product and product underscore title pro underscore title h3 product price is dollar product underscore price image source admin product area pro images width and height of our the picture is 180 and closes it from here now create another function which is get brand pro we create the function which is get cat pro and now we are creating the get brand pro now just copy this function from here get cat pro now paste it here creating a function get brand pro now paste this here now let's go back and changes changes to get brand pro database connection and change this to brand and after this change it to brand as well and change this brand just change the variable because we have the same code over here we just copy and paste it here just change the variables here get brand brand now uh, after this get cat now change this to get brand and in this get brand I'm selecting the QD here or let's just say uh, get brand pro select static from uh, select static from products which is our database table where now change this to where product underscore brand is equal to 
product underscore brand here now run underscore cat uh, now run underscore brand pro mysql idb run get underscore brand pro after this count mysql i number underscore rows run underscore brand pro if count is no uh, zero if there is no product uh, available in the brand section then show this message to no product found in this brand here and after this come to your while loop raw underscore brand pro mysqli fetch underscore array run underscore brand pro now pro id title description price image are the same and changes to brand pro and change this variable to brand pro raw underscore brand underscore pro and these all are the same product id title description price and image now let's come here single products and pro title pro price same pro images now control has to save your page and let's go to your browser and refresh your page here or go to the your main index page and it is showing error on uh, syntax error unexpected end of file in 221 oh I'm just I forgot to close this braces here now close this braces here get brand pro and I'm missing the braces of our get get pro here that's why it is showing the error now control us to save refresh your page and it is showing you your page here now click on the category here Dell or HP or mobile or tablet it is not showing you the value here because we didn't uh, style the content underscore area here now let's come to the style here and let's see what we have here the right side uh, just create a class here which is single underscore product and in this just right float to left and give padding to 10 pixels margin left to 20 pixels and give a single underscore product class image I'm styling the image now just create a border of green solid two pixels now that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial